Happy Halloween, my lovelies. I hope you are having the most spookiest, marvellous day. Today, we are going to be continuing on with the shop or apothecary, whatever you would like to call it, from the movie Practical Magic. Last time, we made a start on the exterior area. We also managed to make a start on a floor plan too. And today, we are going to continue on with the exterior, but also the back garden area and just chucking in a whole lot more details. Tomorrow, what we'll do is crack on and get into the interiors as well. You guys gave me some really good ideas about what to sell in this shop. So that's what we're going to do. So let's flop on over and make a start. And here we are, my darlings, back at Verbena Botanicals. As I said last time, we could just, well, we put the actual shop together, didn't we? We played around with the exterior. We got a little bit of a floor plan going. I still want to put some details out here. And I think what I'm going to do is use my imagination and maybe put a couple of trees out the front here. I think it's missing something, you know? It's just looking a little bit bare out here. I still want to add a few details around here as well. Maybe put some lavender by the front entrance area, a little rug and stuff there as well. I, I just think having a couple of trees here, a couple of autumnal trees would look absolutely marvellous. So I think that's what we're going to do. I've pulled out some objects here. I am I'm going to take one of your guys' ideas. I did say this as well, but the nectar making. I think we should make that apparent in this place. I think just having something where you could make it and sell it, along with a candle maker as well. I'm going to put a candle maker in here too. Um, and we're going to put it downstairs in a basement. I think what I'm going to do is have like a basement entrance down here, some stairs going down where we can have storage and also where they can make the actual nectar themselves. I might even put the nectar maker in the garden because I think that could look pretty cute. Uh, and I've just pulled out a few objects here and there as well that we can sell. And I'm going to change this fence out for this one here, which is from Harry's Coastal Collection. I think that's what we're going to do. That is what we're going to do. I did add on two little bits from last time. I'm going to do a little toilet off of the main shop itself. But I'm also going to do a toilet off of this kind of like little living quarter. I think that would look really nice. And I found these here. Well, I didn't find them. They were already there. Uh, I'm going to use these here. These are from Felix. I think these would be the perfect kind of like retail shelves for this place. Like they just fit in so nicely in here. I'm just going to put two together. Look, look at that. I think that would just be perfect. Let me stock it with loads of stuff. I just think that would be beautiful. Yes, it will. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to crack on with the exterior area of this. I'm also going to map in the basement level as well. The actual like basement room. We're going to get that mapped in. I'm going to choose all the windows. And we're just going to finalize the details for the actual exterior itself. So, and then tomorrow we'll, we will be back. I'll get everything kind of pre-planned already, kind of like done. So I know what I'm doing. And then we'll go around and actually furnish this whole place together. That is what we're going to do. So let's crack on and make a start. I wanted, I pulled out these here because I just wanted a little bit more detail going around the actual uh, roof line. I just think having this just up at this level here just made it look really pretty. Do you know what I mean? So we're going to add that. We're going to add that in. But hello, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome back today. Don't forget this week is no Let's Build the Worlds. We are continuing on with this build. Let's Build the Worlds will be back next week. I'm also going to be doing a Design Me Devon coming out this week as well. That is going to be flopping through to the channel. And a, another video that I haven't finalised yet. Um, so I don't know what the other video is going to be just yet. Because I am off to Amsterdam on Friday. I'm going out. My best friend lives out in Amsterdam. And I'm off out to see him. And I can't bloody wait. I'm so excited. I have flying anxiety. I don't know if anybody else does. I never used to. It's came later in age. Um, so it's going to be my first flight catching by myself in many years. So I'm a little bit apprehensive and nervous. Uh, if any of you have got any pointers, if any of you suffer from anxiety, especially like in airports and stuff, um, then feel free to give me some advice. I kind of know what to do. <laughs> I'm going to have music in my ears. I'm going to remain calm. Um, but if you guys have got any other like advice for little old me, then please let me know down below because I would be, I would happily take that advice from you. I really, really would. So yeah, a little bit apprehensive about that. But you know, we're all human. We all have these little weird things, these little men mental health issues. And yeah, flying for some reason is one of them. Even though the last holiday that I went on, I didn't really suffer too much. Apart from when we were taking off. It was the taking off I didn't like. But anything else, it was absolutely fine. So weird because I used to love flying. I was actually going to go and work for Virgin Atlantic as well as a, a flight attendant. And um, <laughs> just had, it's 
a weirdo it came on later in age very very strange that is indeed yeah that's just added a little something i'm into that now i've pulled out this here pulled out this little pot here and i think having this just by the doors because it's like full of lavender we'll do one on either side i think i think that'll just add something a little bit nice to that area oh yeah i do like that I would like it closer to the door, but I'm not going to because I don't want to like jam up that area too much. We will, however, be putting in a little cheeky rug into this area. Yes, we will indeed. And I'm thinking maybe something like this. A little bit more of a natural vibe. Can I size this up a little bit? It's a bit too small. If I go for maybe a 1.2, see what happens there. No, that's still a bit too small. Let's go 1.4. That's a bit better. Yeah, we'll go for that one. We'll go for that one then, then I'll plop you just in front of the door like this. boop de boo like that. Oh yes, but I'm not a fan of that colour on this particular lot. I think we should go maybe a bit more blue. Oh, I like that one. Oh, that one's cute as well. Yeah, I like that one there. Let's do that. Absolutely stunning. So as I said, I want to just get out a couple of trees for the front here. Just to finish off this area quite nicely. I think that would really work. Uh, so let me find some perfect trees. I'm going to blend it in with um brindled and bay trees uh so let me go into debug and get them so here we go couple of trees we're gonna put this one here over on this area i have sized this down because it is a very large tree but i think it's not gonna cut into the shop at any point lovely and this one here i'm gonna flop you to there and i was just like ah oh, this is gonna be a bit difficult to put a planter in uh so what i did was just make one i'm just gonna make one and we're gonna use these here from a uh, jungle adventure if we flop one either side like this one there one there we'll do them on this area here as well it doesn't really matter where these go to be honest as long as it meets in the middle line there like here in the middle and then oh, let me just copy it. it's a lot easier and then if i flop this one around this side here like so to there and the same here as well, loves. Flopping it to there. And then I can bring these big corner bits and hide a multitude of sins on either side then. Like that. There and there. And the same here as well. Whiffle one in there. And then a gorgeous one in there. Just like that. Oh yes, I think that's going to work. And we'll do the same on the other side. And the reason I'm using these instead of just drawing them on is because... You can't draw right to the edge of a lot, and I'm sure you guys know that. So that's what I'm done. That's what I've been and gone and done. And I'm going to do the same under here. Get rid of those tiles. And then whiffle in a little bit of darker earth. An earthy tone. We'll go for this one. There we go. Bit of that there. And then a cheeky bit of that over there like that. And I might even bring in some like yellowish, orangey looking plants underneath of here as well. Just to make it look... A little bit more autumnal. And there we go. A little bit of an orange bush under either of them. And I like that. I think that's going to be rather delicious. I would love to have some like street lamps out here as well. Some like old fashioned looking street lamps. Uh, so let's do that together. If I can get rid of debug and live edit. Because they always bring out far too many lights. And then we'll go into the lighting. Try and find like a... I was thinking... Mm, let me have a look at you. Oh, do you know what? You actually look kind of cute. I wasn't going to use these, but I'm actually, I'm I'm vibing with it, to be honest with you, loves. Uh, it was always oh, this one. No, do you know what? I don't tend to use this other one, so I think I'm going to use this one here instead. From City Living, is it? Is that from City Living? It is. Well, well, I wouldn't have ever thought, to be honest. We'll go into the tree. It doesn't matter that it's cutting in. You can't help what trees grow. And sometimes they grow over lights, you know? Yeah, cute. I like that. And then maybe just to finish it off at the front here, I'm going to do a little drain pipe. We'll do another drain pipe around the the, uh, the back of the build as well. But I'm just thinking here would look marvellous. A little drain moment. Oh, I've got a sign as well. I've got a sign there. Maybe put the sign like maybe around here. So if people are walking past and they see the sign, then they look at the shop and think, oh my God, I'm going in there. That's just pulled it together nicely. Cool. Okay. Well, we're going to go around here now. I think what we're going to do first is just get rid of this fence. There's no match matching gate with that and it just infuriates me. So we're not using it. We're going to use this one here instead. And this one you have to place like, 
like not like a fence if you know what i mean you have to do it this way let's go come down here and get the grid on so we can see what we're what we're working with here i'm gonna flop this all the way along like this uh oh is that, did i have a lap one then oh i did uh and then i'm gonna just cut straight down here like this and i'm gonna put the gate maybe right in this area here excuse you you were not the gate oh did i mess that up i think i might no i didn't mess it up nope nope you're fine Aiden. you can continue onwards i'm gonna put the gate here oh that's gonna cut into there isn't it yes you bastard maybe not there then we're gonna put it in here instead so i can put there this here put the gate there just because having an entrance here because this is where we're going to be putting the little basement area. So it makes sense to have the fence on that side. Uh, I'm not going to do grass. I'm going to do a full patio moment out here. And we're going to have like planters and stuff there where they can grow all of their herbs and whatnot. Vibing with that idea. And I think I'm going to put the um, nectar maker maybe in this kind of position here like that. Oh yeah, I'm for that. We'll keep that for the basement area. But for now... I think that's going to work quite nicely. Okay, I would like some windows. So I'm going to find the perfect windows to put on the back of the build. Okay, so first thing is first. I would like some kind of access out the back here. So I'm going to put in that little door, that little cottagey looking door off of the main shop area, I think. And then I'm going to use this one here and put this off of the living area, you know. The little residential bit with an open window as well. I think that's quite a vibe. In fact, I'm going to put the open window there and put a closed window here, assuming as we've got that door open there. You know? Let's have a look. Windows. Uh, you might be a bit high, actually. Let's bring you down one. Yep, yeah, perfect. And I'll do the same here with that one there. Let me see this. Oh, vibing. Yes. And then here, with the toilet, I'm going to put one just there. And then I'm going to put this one here on this side just for a little bit of difference there definitely need some kind of decoration on the back here but as of what yet i do not know i think what i want to do first is map in the basement area so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to map in where i want to put the stairs i think it doesn't need to be massive it just needs to be an area where they can store stuff you know i think i'm going to keep it to around about that big there then we're going to go down to that level boop de boot that in like that and get some stairs going in here. I would like some kind of stone stair, to be honest with you. So maybe if I use this one, let's see where this would go. Can I pop you right there like that? Yes. And then I'm going to put in a little stone wall using a half wall. Maybe that height? That's a bit big, that. Let's go down and one more. Yeah, like this. All the way along. Just like that. Get a fence out. Just go in front of here with a fence. We can map that area down. And I'm going to bish bosh boosh out that. Oh, how dare you. Remove the ceiling. Thank you. Yeah. And I think that would be a cute... Oh, it would have been nicer this way. Let's let's change around the where the stairs are coming from. There we go. Perfect. Stairs coming from the other side now. I'm going to use this stone here for more Janique. I'm going to plop this all the way down on this level. I am, and I'm even going to do this in the interior as well, I think. Uh, on the outside, I think, as always, let's get that soil on so it looks like it's underground. Oh, I'm happy with that. And I think I'm just going to follow on this flooring down here as well. I might change the colour of it down here, actually. Let's go for the darker one. Yes. All the way into there like that. And then we'll put a nice door there too. Those stairs look a little bit light now for my liking. So I think I want to darken them down with maybe that one. Let me see that. Yeah, that's better. Oh, yes. Yes, I'm vibing with that. And then do I want to put like a little bit of that on there. Oh, do you know what? I kind of like that, but I'm unsure about that color. I think it needs to be a bit more muted. Let me see. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. Why not, you know? And I think what I'm going to do, because I know it's got a window on, is use that same doors that we used in the interior and flop it down here as well. We'll go for a bit of a darker one. Flop you to round about there, my love. That's all right. Oh, do you know what? That's gorgeous. Oh, yes, we've got a lovely little basement area as well, which is where I'm going to like stick all of the um, 
nectar because it, it ages better down here and it, it makes it more money, you know? And that's what I want for this place. More money. Let me see this. Yes, I think that would work. Okay, we'll leave that like like it is for the minute. Um, I'm not going to be putting windows or anything around on these sides because, well, that's where I'm going to have the shop wall. It doesn't really make sense to do that. So what I want to do now, I want to pull out some extra details for all of this area here. Maybe even some plants and stuff underneath of it. I think it would be really cute. Uh, and I also want to pull out all of the garden bits that we're going to be using for the growing of herbs and whatnot. So let me do that as well. First things first, let's get some window boxes underneath the toilet areas around here. Oh, stunning. And the same on here as well. I was going to add them on these parts here, but they, the Sims I might struggle walking down here, so I'm not going to risk it. I even tried to add them here, and I was just like, no, do you know what? They won't be able to get to that marvellous little nectar-making thing. So we're not going to do that either. But what we are going to do is put some posts on this fence. I'm going to flop some of these in on just those parts there i think that's perfect you can also see i've put a column on each edge of the build as well just to bring a little bit more detail to those areas too now before we move on to some pretty things let's get some functional things in here so i want some more drain pipes i'm thinking i'm going to add another one over on this side here round about there from that roof line and i would like one maybe off of the garden area we could even add it there couldn't we i add it there and then get these drains and then we can flop the drain over into the corner here like this beautiful job and then the same over on this side here as well we'll flop this one in around about there let's put it let's put it to around about there oh yeah it's very nice indeed i've pulled out some lavender as well right by the front gate or the back gate but i've also thought about using some of these implanters maybe they could have like the townsfolk um, and pick their own lavender. What a lovely vibe would that would be. I love lavender. I've got it in my garden as well. And it's just amazing. The amount of bees that it attracts. And it just makes me feel happy. The smell of it. All of it. Love it. Let's get another one of those planters as well then. And bring you over to this area too. Lop you there. And then I'm going to lift this up. Just a couple of spaces. There we go. One and two. Give it a little twirl. Oh, that's very pretty. Yes, indeed. Oh, I do like that. And I think I want to add some of that lighting back on these areas as well. Uh, I'm going to do one here. No reason for it, but I am going to add some lighting back there. And I'm also going to do one here. Oh, in fact, hmm, maybe I could do a street lamp back here and then use this down on this wall here instead. We can bring a bit of light down to this bottom area. I think that would work out a bit better. And then I can bring those same lights and just pop one of those just here. And maybe on the end here as well. Around about there. Oh, I'm vibing with that. Yes. Yes, indeed. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I've done it. There we go. Yeah, that's cute. I absolutely like that. That's just brought in a little bit more detail into this area, which is what I wanted. Nice. Okay. So let's get out some planters for this garden. So I'm thinking I want to use the Jardin ones and I might want to go a little bit lighter with it. Yes, but we need to be methodical about where we're putting these because I want them to be able to get in and use everything. They should be able to use that, but that would only allow me to put in two here. I do want to do some vertical planters because we need to think about the nectar making. And I just for, for some reason, I just think the grapes work best in these. So that's what I'm going to do as well, I think. Think. Let me have a little look. I'll probably squeeze four in if I push them along together. Yeah, I do want to do that. That means we're going to utilize this space here a little bit better. So I'm going to push these all the way along like this. And then I'm going to use these. Pop one to there. They should be able to get into there, no problem. Same with that one. And then we could do more, couldn't we? If I can like flop. Mm, I won't be able to do it there because of that bloody gate. I've got to think about we've got like three entrances here so it's kind of taken up a lot of room this so the more i'm playing around with this patio the more i'm realizing for gameplay we're going to need a greenhouse we are definitely going to need a greenhouse so we can grow things in all seasons so that is exactly what we're going to do we're going to build a greenhouse and i think what i'm going to do is build it out this way let me get that grid on please quite a big one well not big but like you know that kind of size i think would be perfect 
and have a little greenhouse here. Do you know what I mean? I just think it would add something to this as well. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to build a greenhouse together, loves. Yes, we are, dude. So I'm going to use the same side, and this is what is on the house. I'm just going to flop that all the way along. Um, default height with the roof, so we can get some lovely little cheeky roof pieces going in. Flop them into there like that. Pull all flaps up, if you will. Thank you. Flop that siding on there as well. Gorgeous, gorgeous things. We are going to use Pierre Sims. Maybe this thick one here. We'll go for a bit of a softer tone. There we are. Like this. And we'll get some windows on here as well. And there we go. A little greenhouse. Using Pierre Sims windows as well. I think they're lovely on here. And now what we can do is grow whatever we want to in here. Which is what I really wanted. And I think I'm going to stick with the vertical planters for this place. Just because you can get two in one. You know, you can get two in one in one tile. And I'm kind of vibing with that. So that's what we're going to do. Yes, we are indeed. Right, I'm going to get rid of you though. Uh, just because it had all grapes already in it. And I'm going to flop these across either side. And then maybe just have a strip of the kind of one tile planters in the middle. Just so, just for a little bit of differ difference, you know. I haven't put the wallpaper on in here just yet. Don't you worry, I will do that. I will do that. Tomorrow's probably going to be a long part as well, so just be prepared for that. I know a lot of you out there do like a longer part. So just be prepared for that, my loves. Should I just do three in the middle? I reckon I could do four if I push them together. If I like push them together like this. I could do four and then there's a gap at the end there as well where they can get past. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes, indeed, Lily do. Um, coastal siding in the interior, if you will. That's going to work. That's going to work a whole lot better. And then what I'll do out here is plonk in more of these vertical planters all the way across to here. Uh, these have already got grapes on them. I think I'm just going to do four. I'm going to do four because I wouldn't mind putting some more planters just on the floor levels as well. I have done various other bits as well. I'll point all of that out in just, in se just a second. Um, my head's a bit everywhere today, guys. You can probably tell. I'm shooting off to one project and going on to another. That's what I'm doing. Yes, that'd be nice. Pulled out a broomstick by the door. Um, I've pulled out some herbs drying over here. I've put some more of these hanging baskets up all the way around the build as well. Even over onto this side here. Put some up around this side. Um, some more lighting and whatnot. Yeah, that's going to work out. I like that. Okay. So as I said, I reckon we could fit in some more planters. So I'm going to put two more here. One and two there. Just try and cram as many as we can into this place. I reckon we could do one there. In fact, I reckon we could do two there. Just do it side by side like that. Oh, yes. I think that's about it. I'm just looking for gameplay. They're going to need to like get everywhere around here. I can't put it there because the gate's here. Um, oh, do you know what? I think that's fine. I think that's enough. So I'm going to add in these herbs here. We're going to put some sage in. Sage is very important for witches. Let's flop a couple of those bad boys in there. And um, what one was this one again? It was valerian root. We're going to add a few of these in. Let's put these outside. I think these grow in the fall, don't they? Or autumn. Um, fall and spring. So yes, we'll flop them in there. Uh, and I can put anything I want in here. So I'm going to give it a bit of a mix up. And I'll be right back. And there we go. I have filled it up with a variety of things. Mandrake, we've got some catnip, we've got raspberries, we've got basil, we've got blackberries, we've got chuckleberries, we've got more sage, we've got strawberries. We've also got a special ones in the middle. We've got a death flower, we've got some chamomile, um, we've got some more mushrooms. I just think that works out a little bit better. And then this kind of makes a bit more sense because you can grow it all year round. And it's just going to work out a lot easier for us. So I'm happy with that. I'm happy with how this is looking. I think the exterior is complete. We will be back tomorrow with a big part. It's definitely going to be a longer part tomorrow. So be on the looks out for it, darlings. So I'm going to make sure to get everything ready just so I know where everything's going and whatnot. But we are going to be furnishing up the whole of this area here and um, the whole the main shop. We're going to try and make it look as much like the film as possible. Um, the residential area as well. We're going to make this into a bit of like a studio area with a bed, everything, a little kitchenette, all of that kind of good stuff. And we're also going to do the basement area where I'm going to put in the candle maker and all of the storage we need for the um, 
the nectar making. That is the vibe for today. And we are done. So I will be back tomorrow with this. I'm going to go and get everything planted now. I'm going to download some Sims off the gallery and get everything planted so it looks very nice. But I'll be back with the final part of this tomorrow. Once again, happy Halloween. A very spooky, spooky evening. And I'll be back with you tomorrow.